when you start a company especially a product oriented company out of india so so what happens is uh, the first thing which you encounter is how do you start right because it's not just say if you are based out of us or other developed countries then you, we all of us heard about uh, companies started in garage and all these things right that's not that's not possible in india that's not possible in india even if you start a company out of your home lots of other issues comes into play right related to infrastructure see if you have to start for example a company in india a company in bangalore then you how could you arrange 24 by 7 electricity for your venture right uninterrupted uninterrupted internet connectivity So there are so many of these kind of issues. That's why we have incubators like NSR Self, right? Where you need to you need to make uh, make available of your idea to to the to the panel there, and then if you are lucky, then you get incubated at NSR Self. How many of you have seen this Bollywood movie called as Chak De India? Okay, many of you have seen. So in this movie, what happens? This person, uh, the Shah Rukh Khan, actually he he got bunch of these uh, 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 these players in women's cricket team for India, right? And then he has to now make sure that all these uh, girls play as a team, leave their ego, and need to contribute. at a place where it matters the most most for the team right to win the world cup in hockey similarly when you start to measure there are so many of these kind of things happen and there is very, very famous dialogue from shahrukh khan in that uh, that dialogue says that in 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 a team only one gunda can be there right so one rowdy can be there there cannot be more than one rowdy in a team and so similarly in a startup when you have a startup there can only be one person who takes the whole responsibility and then other members are there who are actually filling the gap at various levels so then the building a team finding those people who can play effective role in those specific locations specific places becomes so very important right and that's when you encounter issue of selling yourself selling your idea first time to your potential employees your potential partners your potential uh, co-founders so the very first thing when you leave your job the the major difference you would encounter is when you leave your job and start your own venture is you must have managed your teams when you're working for somebody else right but the moment you leave your job and start your own venture first thing you need to manage is you need to manage your own finances you need to now forget about managing a team but you need to manage many more other things which are equally important right people would earlier you used to go and complain to facility about the infrastructure which you are getting in the company now people will come to you and they will say that there is no toilet paper available so that's that's the mindset transformation you need to bring in when you become an entrepreneur from from an employee and you need to and effectively utilize whatever network you have along with you right so network in the sense your network could be immediate network which you have built around you while doing a uh, job some in different companies that is one place and then the second network could be effectively utilizing network from your networks so somebody who is in your network and then somebody else is there in their network and then you need to effectively utilize those networks so that becomes extremely important the third thing is when you when you deal with people you will have to 
have uh, a good understanding about what are they expecting from associating with your venture. Whatever relationship, small or big, we are entering into, we need to have written proof of that relationship. There is no point in having a verbal relationship at any level, even though you are working a very on working on a very small demo, you need to have a written uh, written agreement on those kind of things. So, when required, because these kind of things would be required at at many places, many levels. When you talk to investors, you have some. So we always made sure that we, when when we are dancing, when we are dancing with these gorillas. We make sure that we have our weightage also along with them. So it's not just one way dancing. It's not just like they are saying us dance and then we are dancing and then the, the show is over. So that's how we started building the relationship. That's how we started growing based on that relationship. And second thing is any person, small or big, in your network can help you in some way.